Hi everyone, it's Gordon Turnbull for John Knox Church. I'm thinking this week about prayer, how good it is for us, how important it is for us. And today, especially I'm thinking about that particular aspect of prayer in which we praise God, the prayer of adoration. I wanna invite us to claim this uh, gift. I think it's underused probably in most of our lives. The gift of taking time to praise God, to adore God, to express our um, awareness of and our gratitude for who God is in the divine being. Um, we have some great examples of how to do this from the Psalms. And I just picked Psalm 147 for us to, to look at today. It starts this way. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praise to our God. For he is gracious and a song of praise is fitting. It's the truth that, that God is gracious and a song of praise is appropriate. It's fitting for us to praise God, not, not for only for what God has done for us or what we, we hope and ask God to do for us, but for who God is in the divine, eternal, perfect being of, of our Lord, um, how how worthy of our praise and our adoration God is. The um, wise ones who uh, put together the Westminster Confession of Faith said that the chief end or the purpose of human life is to glorify God and to enjoy God forever. And so um, practicing every day, noticing things about God, expressing the wonderful things about God, the things that are uh, glorious, really, that stretch our mind to think even more highly of this one who is so loving, so perfect, so generous, uh, so all-powerful, and yet so considerate of our needs and who condescends to our needs and, and offers himself in the person of Jesus Christ. There's so many aspects of God that are worthy of our contemplation. I think it's especially good for us these days to, to um, indulge ourselves in this practice of prayer, to, to, to join in that kind of reflection, because it's very easy for us to be self-consumed and uh, self-absorbed. And, and a, a gift of adoration is not just that it glorifies God, but, but it teaches us um, about the one whom we uh, love in, in covenantal grace. So we join together with God uh, in a relationship. And the more we adore God, um, the more we uh, perceive uh, how worthy of that adoration God is. If you've ever fallen in love with someone, you know the feeling of wanting to say and notice and celebrate every good thing about that one. I pray that it would be that way for us with the Lord who loves us so that we would train ourselves through the prayer of adoration to love God back and to grow uh, in greater and greater expression of God's endless glory and worthiness of praise. May your day today partake of the fullness of that great uh, God. And uh, may your life and mind be expanded in the praise of God's glory. Have a wonderful day and God bless you.